What's up all you miners out there? So today I wanted to go over the new web interface update from April 13th. Uh, I know I'm a little later to this, but I just started using this for Hive OS. This is specific to Hive OS, and it's pretty much a core clock uh, tweet. And it's, I'll show you it um, pretty much for NVIDIA if we go down here. It'll say absolute core clock, and you won't do plus or minus. But this was actually able to save me a little bit of wattage on my 30 series cards. Now, they have down here the GPUs that they have confirmed it to work with. Uh, I don't have any 1660 Supers. I do have a 1660 Ti on the way. I did try it on my P104 rig, and I pretty much just crashed the rig, and it didn't work out too well. Uh, I do have a 2070 Super on the way, and I have a 2060 KO. So I may try it with that, even though it just says S, uh, just to give it a shot. But I do have it on my 3070s, 3080, and 3060 Ti's. Now, I did get a little bit better power efficiency out of it. But let's go ahead and I'll show you my rig here in Hive OS. Uh, so they've been online for a little while now, and I did have an issue with this rig. Uh, it went and pretty much crashed on me. And I've been having issues with this really getting a six GPU on it. I have two more 3070s on my test bench. Now I did get a uh, mining bio specific to this motherboard that I just need to flash to it to see if I can get that six GPU on it. I have plenty of power since I have a th uh, 1300 watt G3 power, power supply on it. But as you can see, I already have the core clock tweaks on it. And this is what we really wanna focus on today. So you see my ma uh, power limits here. Now, before I was running, this is my Asus Strix one. It's running a little uh, higher on power. But you can see my power limit there of 120 on these, but I'm running slightly lower. Uh, now, this one's power limit 130, and I'm running 120. And this one's power limit 130, and I'm running 124. I'm still getting roughly 62 mega hash a second on all my 3070s, and my 3060 Ti dropped a slight bit. And I'll show you that inside the miner. And my 3080, I dropped just under 100 mega hash a second, but I'm also saving four watts. Now, I could take it, take this off and change it, but it is what it is. So to my knowledge, this only works on the web interface right now. It does not work on the mobile phone. I tried using it on my iPhone when I logged in the Hive OS and it did not work. It didn't change it. But if you go in here, it says absolute core clock here. But if I went negative 200, which I had it, it says core offset. But when I type in 1100, it goes to absolute core clock. Now an AMD card is a little bit different and it is in this article up here on how to do it with AMD cards. You can see with Polaris and Vega cards with Samsung and Apedia and Micron and Hynix memory, different references to use. And then the Hynix and the Samsung memory uh, fits most cars. So, I mean, obviously you're going to try this at your own risk, but this is how it is on my GPUs. Now, if we go into shell in a box here and remote into it, you can see here what my power limits are. So that's exactly what Hive OS is reporting. Now my 3070 here did hit one rejected share, but it's at 0.05% rejected and I'm, I'm not even going to argue with that i'm not going to tweak this at all and it's probably because i'm running a slightly less power now for some reason i don't know why my strix card's taking a little bit more power it could just be silicon lottery in this instance could be because of all the leds on it i have no idea in the rgb but my gigabyte card up here is the uh gaming master one and that has an lcd screen on it. that's running 120 watts so i'm not sure then my other gigabytes 120 watts at 62 mega hash a second so i'm not really sure i'm hoping to get my other gigabyte card onto this rig and get it on hive os but i should be i'm probably gonna have to build out another rig real soon because i like i said i have the 2070 super coming a 2060 ko and a 1660 ti on the way but i just wanted to show you anyone has followed the videos before this was 100 and this one was always 120 watts so i didn't really save any power on this one uh but this one Obviously, because it was running 120 watts, so I saved a little bit. And when I went in here with T-Rex Miner, you have the efficiency here. And it pretty much tells you, like, right there, the efficiency. That actually dropped a little bit, so it was a little less efficient when I went up to 62 mega hash a second at 100 and 
20 watts. So I did bring it back down and put the 1350 and I pretty much just copied my numbers from here. I could drop it a little bit, but it did affect my hash rate just a tiny bit. Uh, so I went with pretty much not always the highest number, but what was working for my GPU at the time. Now, the 3080, I was able to get over 100 mega hash a second, but I'm pretty happy with 99.8 mega hash a second with uh, the efficiency that it's getting. Now, you can see my most efficient card right now is my 3060 Ti, and that doesn't have to do with uh, this core clock change. That's just been how it's been since I've gotten the GPU. I got really lucky with Silicon Lottery on that one. It was one of the first ones released on the market when I bought it. So that one's been just a mining champ for me. Uh, they all run fairly decent. I mean, as far as temperature wise, one thing I don't like is that I don't see the memory temperature for the 3080. I know it has a memory sensor on it. Uh, I wish HiveOS will hopefully adapt that one day and have that in the program. Cause I know on Windows, I was able to see the junction temperature for the memory. And this one would get up to 95, sometimes 98 Celsius. Um, right now I have fans blowing on it, so hopefully it's keeping it around 90, but I don't know for sure because it's on Hive OS. But, you know, that's just a core clock settings. I'll put this link in my description below where you guys can just go click on it and check out what you can do. And if you have any of these GPUs, the settings you can put into Hive OS to try and just get yourself a little bit uh, better efficiency out of it. Now... You can see here 1660 super at 60 watts getting 32 mega hash a second that is ridiculous a 2060 super getting 43 mega hash a second at 92 watts and a 2070 getting 43 mega hash a second at 96 watts now i'm pretty stoked to get my 2070 super and my 2060 kl i hope performs on par with that but i'm not really sure i don't have experience with a 2060 ko or 2060 in general um, I was just able to pick one up, so I, I did. My 2070 Super, I, I mean, I, I benchmarked 2070s in the past, so I'm, I'm pretty confident I'll get the 30 mega hash a second, but if I can get it 43 mega hash a second, I mean, 43 mega hash a second, 90, under 100 watts, I'll be pretty happy with that. Um, it'll be pretty much on par with my 5600 XT rig, which is getting 41 mega hash a second at roughly 90 watts across the board. This card I have a little bit of issues with, so I have a little more power to it. But, like I said, the core clock feature, I mean, obviously try it your own risk. You may risk run the risk of crashing your rig, but, you know, let me know if you guys are using it, if you implemented it, uh, how much power it's been saving. I mean, some of these cards, like this one saved me 10 watts per card. Um, this one, uh, 5 or 6 watts. This one, you know, 7 watts. This one, four watts. I mean, it's it's small gains, but over the course of all of it, I mean, I'm looking at enough that it's going to make an impact on my electric bill, signif like not significantly, but slightly. So it's going to save me, could save me five to $10 a month just from that little tweak, which I know in hindsight doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're just running these things nonstop and not really taking a hit on my hash rate, it's worth it in the long run. But, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Um, excited to hear people that are using this tweak. I know other miners have put it out and that are using the new uh, core clock settings that uh, Hiva has released and using the absolute core clock. Uh, but I'd like to see your guys' results. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for checking this video out. Uh, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.